Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we have a fun unboxing and we'll test some things out. So stick around. I, like you, pay attention to a lot of the community posts on YouTube. And sometimes my favorite art tubers will post sales. And this is me being the victim or the beneficiary, depending on how you look at it, <laughs> of one of those sales. Let me just get this plastic off. So the first thing that I got, oh, this is such nice packaging. Artix has been sending a lot of these fine tip and brush tip kind of paint pens. So it's kind of like Posca pens, which usually have a bullet nib, but apparently these have an actual brush tip. I did get the metallic ones just because I have a whole set of non-metallic. I have a whole set of, wow, that's really pretty. Okay, so let me... <laughs> Let me get myself together. I'm actually very excited about this. So this feels really good. It has like a really nice tactile feel and I probably will keep them in the box. It's just a nice thin uh, profile and I think it'll kind of sit uh, with my sketchbooks really easily. So I'm going to keep it in this instead of, you know, moving it to like an old empty candle holder like I often do. I just really like this box that it comes in. So these are really cool. My eye is obviously immediately drawn to this one because that's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> uh, okay, so it says metallic paint pens. This is the brush tip. So I don't know if you can see that, but it actually says brush and fine. Let me see. So this is the fine tip. Ooh, you can see the sparkliness. I don't know if you can, but I can to the naked eye. And that's the brush tip. Oh, so cool. Okay, so it looks like it has, because it comes with this black paper and white paper. Oh, that's cool. So look at that. So it has both black and white paper, which I usually do swatch in black and white with stuff like this. And it has numbers, like a letter and number system instead of a color name, which I like because sometimes you don't agree with the color name that people choose, but now I'm looking where it is on the body. I'm assuming that's how you know. That's cool, on the cap, so in case the cap comes off and rolls away, the color is inside the cap and on the back of the cap. That's really nice because if you lose the cap or you're using a bunch at the same time, it's easy to, to get the cap back where it goes. It has these roll guards, so it actually stops. It won't roll off your desk. Very cool. But I'm still not seeing the number. Brush Artex metallic paint pens fine. And recap after use and askew. There's literally no... <laughs> I'm, I'm really actually annoyed by that because it says like M1, M2, M3, whatever, but then there's no corresponding mark on here. So I'm going to have to just like find a Sharpie or something. Let's see if this works. I'll just invent it. So we'll pretend that this one is M1. I mean, am I crazy? No, I really don't see M anything. So let's try this. M1. Wow, I stink at this. All right, so it's not, it's gonna rub right off there. Let's see if once it dries, if it stays on there. Worst comes to worse, I can always actually write on it with a Posca. <laughs> that would be funny if I end up writing on it, or even with actually with one of these um, acrylograph pens. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see how that one works. So we'll make this one M2. Bear with me. Two. And let's see if that dries. We'll, we'll do a wipe test after both of those dry and see which one we want to do. But once I figure out a numbering system for these, <laughs> I will, I mean, are you as confused as I am? Why do they do this? Why do they say like, oh look, we're so fancy. We actually have a system where you can identify these colors and then they really don't. I mean, I don't see a single one with anything on it. I don't know why they did that. It's like a tease. All right, so this one should be dry by now and it wipes right off, so that's not helpful. This one's still wet. We'll give that a minute, but when, when this is all, when I find a way to mark them, we'll do the swatching and you can see what they look like, but I'm very excited to use these. I think it'll be a really fun addition to my plain paint pens that I have. I'm very into paint pens. I find them to be super fun. I like to use them in multimedia. They're awesome, so very fun. But then this is the real thing that I was waiting to make this video over. <laughs> so I 
recently, somewhat recently, I mean this year, got my first metal, and actually let me take a moment, this is, this is a recent unboxing, my Galen Leather gorgeous pen case, fountain pen case, I'm a big fountain pen girl, and I filled it with some of my favorite fountain pens, and these are all my Caveco fountain pens. I got this beautiful deep red metal fountain pen, it feels so good, this one feels matte to the touch. And I loved it so much that I got this rose gold one, which I never did a video on, but I just thought they went really well together. How cute! <laughs> so as you can see, this one is matte and this one is shiny. This one is, um, just looks more metallic than this one, even though they're both metal. And they both feel completely different, but I'm a very tactile person and this one feels so smooth. It just feels like... Oh my gosh, I don't know, like you would almost think you're rubbing your fingers in like an essential oil or melted butter. That's how it feels. And and it doesn't get all fingerprinty, which I think is really cool. So I love that rose gold one. And it feels totally different from this one, which has that like, can you hear that? I put it up to the mic. <laughs> it has that like matte feel. Again, doesn't get fingerprinty. And I just really loved these metal ones. I love the plastic ones too. These just have more weight. These are so light. The the normal ones, like the $30 ones, $26 to $30 for these, $60 to $90 for these. These are so light, like you could forget you're holding it. This one, it's not heavy, but it, it it's not like this, you know, where it almost always feels empty. <laughs> I love them all. Caveco has obviously become my favorite fountain pen. I just love these mini pens. I like how comfortable they are when you take them out and extend them. I love minis in general. This is another mini I have. I just love minis where they become a full-size pen when you um, cap put the cap on the back. It's called posting when you post the cap. So obviously when they came out with my absolute favorite color in <laughs> a Quebeco Sport metal pen, I had to go ham and I also had gotten this uh, Appetite Elegan Edelstein or Edelstein, I don't know how you say it, Appetite Ink, which I was obsessed with. I got a sample from my girl Stephanie Davis who has a channel here on YouTube and it goes perfect and I knew I wanted to buy that, a full bottle of that and it goes perfectly with the color of this pen. So I just decided to get them together, get the free shipping. <laughs> if I was going to get them, I decided to get them together. So let's see. Ooh, this is nice how they package it. So this is, I bought it from Goulet Pens. Goulet Pens does a really good job of packaging. So knock on wood, I hope I don't jinx myself and now it's like all messed up. Oh, okay. So that's it. It's empty. Okay. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Oh, so cute. Oh, okay, so this is how it came. Hold on. Okay, so they sent this. It says, I packed your order with a slightly ridiculous amount of care to make sure that the writing products you love would arrive safely today. Okay, so they send it with a sticker. They call this, so, <laughs> Emerald of Chavour, or Emerald of Chavois, I don't know how you say it, is a beautiful ink from Herban, and Jacques Herban, I think is the what it was originally called and they have an inside joke at Goulet Pens if you're a fan of their YouTube channel from long ago they have an inside joke about someone thinking it was Emerald of Chicken instead of Emerald of Chavois <laughs> or so now they you get the Emerald of Chicken sticker if you're lucky but they have a bunch of different stickers I've put their stickers on different sketchbooks in the past they also send it with a treat this one is a Tootsie Roll mini Tootsie Roll in banana I've never even heard of that here is what I got the Edelstein, and do you see what I mean? Like, I just don't know how to say it. What a beautiful box. Edelstein ink Pelican is the brand, and this is their ink collection. Ink of the Year, Appetite. So this was a fancy ink of the year. Extra soft ink. It is a beautiful fountain pen ink. So, by the way, I don't know if this is coming across, but this is like a satiny, shimmery color. I love this packaging. Oh, and then you open it and you see their brand. That's the Pelican. I don't have a Pelican pen yet. It's extremely expensive. Ooh. So I don't have one, but maybe one day. Wow. Look how pretty that is. Holy smokes. 
So that's the ink bottle. That is like the prettiest ink bottle I own now. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that beautiful ink. I can't wait to ink this pen up. So there's the ink. Are you guys like that? Or do you get sad throwing away beautiful packaging like that? Like that is so pretty. So that's similar to the color. <laughs> the color that <laughs> you now know. It's literally like the first one I went for here. It's it's in that family. So it's going to be really pretty. If you watch that video where I unboxed Happy Mail from Stephanie, you'll see that she sent me a bunch of these Goulet Pen ink style uh, samples, ink samples for my fountain pens. And one of them was this Edelstein Pelican ink. Then I got this gorgeous Iguana Caveco, metal Caveco. When you get one of them, if you saw my deep red unboxing, you've seen this before, although this is a different color. I think this is like a special fancy um, color sleeve. And then this is, I'm opening this with you. Ooh. Oh, these are so cool because you can put two Caveco pens in there. And if you only have two, that can be like your pen case. Oh, wow. Okay, so this has the gold accents that you either have gold or silver. And it has the gold writing. That's beautiful. I think that looks much better than the silver on this color. They do such a good job. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and so it'll come with a cartridge like that, but I never use that. I always put in my own little uh, fill your own cartridge, which I ordered a couple on Amazon. You have to order a special one because this is so small. And you can't do what's called an eyedropper fill. So in my plastic Cavecos, I will just fill the body with ink, like all the way with an eyedropper. But you can't do that with metal because it'll corrode the metal. You have to have a cartridge of some kind. But I like a reusable cartridge so that I can fill it with whatever ink I want. And that's what I'm going to do today. So you'll be able to see that. But once the cartridge is in, you just screw this on. You can put this, post this on the back, and it becomes a comfortable size to write with. Or when you're done, you just close it, and there's another set of threads there, and it's closed. This is beautiful. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, so let me go get my refillable cartridge, fill this beautiful pen, and then we'll do a writing sample, and we'll really lose our minds. Okay. Yeah hold on. So I got so excited just unboxing this beautiful ink and this gorgeous pen that I didn't even tell you too much about the pen. So this one is the iguana color and it does have the gold accents which means that the nib is also gold. I got the medium. You can see that little M towards the very bottom of the nib and all I'm gonna do is push this plunger cartridge a reusable cartridge. It does keep very little ink, but it's such a small pen. I don't mind refilling it. And I like more opportunities to refill with different colors. And so you just push it in and then it works like that. So you just get it into, get the nib into the ink bottle, open up the plunger, it'll fill. And then I like to empty it back out and fill it again so that the nib and feed actually get all the ink as well as filling the cartridge. So once it's full, I just wipe it off and then screw it back into the main body. And then I like to close up the cap until I'm ready to write with it so that the nib doesn't dry out. So what I'm going to do is give you a writing sample in my Dingbats journal. I really love this paper for fountain pen writing. And so I usually do all of my test writing in this journal with this paper. Look how gorgeous this pen is. I love this color. So I'm going to give you a little side view. And frankly, I got super excited again and just didn't even remember what I was supposed to be writing. So I wrote it twice, but I'm also going to give you a much closer shot so you can see. But this is how smooth it is right out of the gate. I didn't do anything to this nib. I dove right in and just started writing as soon as it was inked up and it is just smooth as butter. That's one of the things I love about Caveco pens. It's one of the reasons that it's my favorite pen, my favorite pen style. It's because it's so smooth. I love how fat the nibs are. So even though this is a medium nib, it writes almost like a broad in a lot of other brands. And I like a big 
fat, juicy nib because I love fountain penning. It's kind of like painting. That's what drew me to writing with fountain pens. And so I really like to see my ink on the page. And this is what the ink looks like in this particular pen. It is a beautiful color. It is very legible, even though it's a little bit lighter. So I love that pen. I love that ink. I'm super excited about it. The uh, Ardex labeling worked out where I put in the numbers just using the numbers from the cards, even though they don't really mean anything to me, just so it'll match the swatch little card there. And using the acrylograph did work, so it didn't smudge, and so I just ended up labeling all of them offline. Now with this first one, I was shook. Like, I'm going to let you hear the original audio. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's awesome. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you, Artix. What? Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Was not ready. Was not ready for how good these holy smokes. That's amazing. What? What is happening? I'm not even shaking these. These are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing? Are you seeing this? I don't even have my mic on. Whoa. 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 So pretty. That is so pretty. Why did it say? See, it's a good thing I put the labels. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is this magic? Why? <laughs> you get the idea at this point. I basically just was fawning over these beautiful paint markers the entire time that I was swatching them. Like, I never got over it. I never got over it. I didn't get over it for any one of these colors. Every single color was gorgeous, vibrant, stunning, shocking, like you've never seen before. Like, I just don't understand how these even work because it's a brush tip, so it's super juicy but you don't have to shake them. I shook the first one, just assuming, and here's my favorite color from the beginning, so I'm excited. Just pay attention to this one because this is the one I picked first. Look at that! <laughs> it is so gorgeous, like I can't. I, I, I just didn't, when I said like, what sorcery is this or what magic is this, that's literally what these felt like. They were so gorgeous. Unfortunately, the video is just not doing them any kind of justice in person. They are, shiny, shimmery, vibrant, like stunning. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you. They are so beautiful. I, I, ugh, okay, so anyway, even though I watched a review of this brand and of this style of marker, the brush marker on Stephanie Davis's channel, and that's actually what made me want to get these, I, I still wasn't ready, especially because I know that Artex was sending these out to people. So I wasn't sure. Sometimes there's an extra level of excitement when someone sends something to you. And I paid for these. I bought them myself. They were on sale, which I was thrilled about. But I bought them with some expectation they were going to be cool, but no idea how cool. The brush tip is life changing. The fine nib was perfect for details, which I showed you on the white side here. It was just as beautiful on the black as it was on the white. It's a little bit more like magical sorcery on the black and a little bit more like illustration on the white. So again, I don't think it's coming across <laughs> in this video, unfortunately, but I cannot recommend these enough. Obviously, this is a first impression. I haven't had them for months or anything. I don't know how they're going to last, but first impression wise, these are insane. I love them. I'm so glad that I got them. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing, swatching, first impression. If you did, please remember to like the video and check if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, create something cute.